If you're looking for new tractors to use on your farm, today I've got you covered. What's going on everybody? DJ Graham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 19 mods for you for all platforms. So we got seven new and five updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got two new and five updates. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the SDL Group Pack. Even though I'm not really sure why it's called that, this is the Sammy Fortis. This is a brand new tractor. I think this was a tractor in 15 and 17. I'll have to go back and take a look. But nonetheless, we've got it here in FS19. It's a very good looking one as well. Good size medium tractor, so that's where we're going. Into vehicles, into medium tractors. And here we are. If you guys have the race tractor pack installed, it's going to be right before that. We have the Sammy Fortis for $138,000. Base is going to have 166 horsepower, goes 32 miles per hour. All pretty normal stuff for a medium sized tractor. So in rim color, we get a bunch of grays. Somebody must be listening to me. I love having different gray options for tractor tires. Look at this. This is crazy. Got all kinds of stuff in here for you. But the main color of the tractor does not change. Jumping down on two wheels themselves. We have Trelleborg. We have Michelin. And back to Trelleborg. In Michelin, there are no options. So what you see here is what you get. However, in Trelleborg, we have standard. We've got wide tires. You've got narrow tires, which really dips the front down right there. Goodness gracious. And then, of course, back to standard. So only the three options there. Design, you've got without front fenders, with front fenders. And of course, without, again, we're going to leave those on. Engine setup, we've got 160, which is going to give you 166 horsepower. 190, 193, 210 with 210 horsepower and back down again. So top is going to be 210 horsepower and lastly front loader attacher no or yes that is going to be your standard stole attachment so nothing crazy nothing out of the ordinary there this is a really good looking tractor day rl modding did a great job on this next up we have the deutz far 7250 ttv this is a brand new deutz far 7000 series and it looks amazing it's by Esset, which is a new modder to farming simulator 19 and they have just knocked it out of the park on this one. Let's go in and check it out. So we're going to go into vehicles. We're going to go into medium tractors. And I'm going to explain something to you guys. So we have now three Series 7s. Which one's which? Well, right here, this Series 7 is just your standard in-game Series 7. The bonded version, but it's there nonetheless. Then we have the Series 7 TTV. That's not what this one is. This one is Series 7 but it's got more horsepower. So you can see right there, these both have 224 horsepower. This one has 246 base. Plus, you get to see the Michelin tires on this one. They may be minus as well. We'll take a look at that, but that is this one right here. Plus, it looks like it's got a different windshield on there as well. So keep that in mind. Boom, we jump in and we check it out. So engine setups, we have the 7250, which give you 246. Then we get the 7250 Warrior, 263. So we're back and forth between those. So only two engine options for this, but we do get the Warrior. And so that is really cool. I know a lot of you guys like the Deutz Far Warrior stuff. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, we've got Michelin. So Michelin tires are the ones that you see in the front. So in Trelleborg, we've got wheel setup standard, wide tires, wides with weights, standards again, wides, wides with weights, back and forth. You get the idea. And then in wheel brand, we've got Michelin standard, wide tires, wides with weights, standard wide. Again, you, you get the idea here. And in design, we have standard LED light. Ooh, we'll take a look at those and see what those look like. But we've got the LED lights. Now, the only thing with the LED lights is you can see straight through them. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. But nonetheless, this thing looks awesome. Oh my gosh, let's jump in and let's see these lights. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look out. So we've got LED lights, so like you're running lights then we've got headlights then you have your rear lights on and then you have your bright bright lights on holy cow you want to light it up this is the way to do it right here the toys far 7250 ttv your last tractor mod today is the case ih 1255 1455 xl but it's not that in the store. We'll explain that. This is just a phenomenal looking old classic tractor right here. 
Looks really good. Plus, these wheels, I've never seen anything like that before. That looks really good. Let's check it out. Where are we going? Well, we're going into small tractors for this one, even though this thing's got a bunch of horsepower. And here we are. We have, yet again, three different 1455 XL models. So I'll explain to you which one is. Well, the 1455 XL, that is your in-game version. That's the one the Giants have released. The 1255 1455, that is a mod. But this, this is the one on the far left-hand side right here. Both of these have the old paint job. However, this one has a completely different grill on it, looking really, really good. Couple different customization options here. In rim color, you've got the case gray, you've got a black, and then you've got more of a brighter gray. I do like this older gray. And then in main color, you have the used, you have the restored, restored two, and then the black boost. So you can put a black color on there as well. I think I'm just gonna go with the standard look. I think that looks great. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, Midas, Michelin, and back to Trelleborg again. In Trelleborg, we have standard tires. Standard tires with the front inverted. It also takes away your uh, your hub, hub cover thing right there, wheel cover. Moving on. <laughs> You've got your uh, standard rear twins, twins all around narrow wheels which aren't really that narrow at all but hey it's a small tractor and then we are booming up so we've got some big beefies some switched around wides with weights wides with a narrow duel on the back wides all around with narrow duels all the way around <laughs> and then back to standard again in midas tires you've got kind of a, a chunky tire you get the front reversed wheel weights no weights so kind of back and forth, about three different options there. And in Michelin, we've got standards, we've got front reversed, you've got wheel weights, and then back to normal again. So only a couple different options there. Front mounted, we have weights carrier. You have a front weight, you have a front hydraulic with everything going on there, and then back to standard again. This does give you the hitch and it gives you the PTO, all that good stuff, plus a custom front linkage, which is really neat. And exhaust systems, we have the normal exhaust, steel pipe, steel pipe enameled, steel pipe bent, <laughs> and then going back and forth there. So there's quite a few different options for you to choose from there. Without beacons, then we can do on the left side, both sides, or neither. So you could either do left side, both, or neither. Pick one of those. And then air filter, you've got standard, you've got the raised just a little bit, super raised, Back to standard again there. Engine setups, we have the 1255. It's going to give you 125 horsepower. Then you get the 1455. It's going to give you 145 horsepower. So only between those two engines right there, 125 or 145. And then front loader, you've got no. You have the stole. And then you've got the allo console as well, which is really cool being able to get all that. This is just a really nice tractor. Moving into implements, we've only got one new implement for all platforms today. This is the Pottinger Top 382. This is a between 3.3 and 3.5 working windrower. Very nice, so super cheap as well. Let's jump in and check it out. Where are we gonna go? Let's go to tools. Let's go into windrows. And here we are on the left-hand side for $9,000. 35 horsepower is required for this. Again, 3.3 to 3.5 meter working and 11 miles per hour. Boom, nothing crazy else here. It just kind of is what it is. It's a windrow, no customization whatsoever. Very good looking mod. Making our way into placeables. And again, we only have one for you today for all platforms. This is the placeable wooden fountain. This is gonna cost you 4,500 bucks, $4 per day. It uh, serves to refuel your water barrels. So in case you're using the new DLC that's coming out tomorrow and you're using the Primus, you're gonna need water in that. And this will do the job just fine. It is free water, so once you place this down, you can get water for free from it. Refueling's done with the normal stuff, and it works with the Seasons mod as well, which is super cool. And if you want to find this, it's going to be found in Placeables and in Miscellaneous. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is Seasons Geo Germany. This Geo mod is slightly based on the weather in Germany. Slightly based by Dorschmied. <laughs> You're going to need Seasons mod, of course, to use this. If we jump down in, you can take a look at the calendar, and we've got a pretty normal setup right here. Of course, there's no cotton, so that would be obvious, I think. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, stuff like that. It all seems fairly normal. The thing with canola is you can't plant it during the spring. You can only plant it in the uh, late summer and early on in the fall. 
and it looks like it's going to take that a full year to grow. Really interesting. Very, very interesting here. Um, we can see that the modder has taken a picture of this using three-day season, so um, I still say at least go with six-day seasons on this just to be safe. And your last new mod for all platforms today, Switchback Canyon, a brand new logging map brought to you by Adub Modding and NLA Gaming. Shout out Adub. Challenging logging map with some very difficult roads to navigate, has very hilly terrain, so keep that in mind. Steep hills and a very large sawmill as well. It's a beautifully done map, very, very well done. Lots of mountains, lots of hills very <laughs> very treacherous terrain if we jump in and we take a look at the full pda this is your pda right here what do you start with well you get some areas all of this is purchasable so do keep that in mind uh you can buy for one hundred three thousand dollars. you could sell that but i would highly recommend you not do that you do get some areas which is great but most of it you're going to have to purchase on your own. A lot of this is quite expensive as well. So I hope that you enjoy this map. It was very, very well done. If we take a look at what you get base. So you get the New Holland T6. You get a Lizard Hulk. You get a Lizard Warrior. Scorpion King, or Scorpion King Buffalo. You also get a Massey 9407. A Pickup. A Timber Runner. Log Forks. You get a... <laughs> I mean, you get all this. Look at that. You get really, really cool stuff. Pretty much stuff to start big time logging right off the bat. Everything you need to move from point A to point B. Very well done. Moving into updates for all platforms. First up, we have the Johnston Brothers modular trailer system or the Lizard trailer system, depending on what platform you're playing on. Changelog 1.003 added an attacher configuration in the shop so you could choose between low and high hitch. Low is hitch is used for tractors and the high is used for telehandlers, wheel loaders, and things like that. Increase the size of the collision for the support so the trailer should no longer fall through the ground when detaching from something that is low like a car or UTV. I've had this problem with header trailers before, and I'm glad that the modder has noticed this and made a change. We've got an update to La Coronella. This is the Seasons version. Changelog 1.0.3. Various floating objects have been removed. The height of the triggers of biogas and compost plant have been adjusted. They were too high. The lake animation has been blocked in order to check and see if this was what produced the flashing on console. We've got an update to the Case H Optum changelog to the cabin or the roof window. You're able to open that now. Color configurations, engine configurations have been changed up. Interior has been changed over to the most current version. The original CNH rims for the Michelin and Midas have been added. PTO configuration of no PTO and black PTO. Spring-loaded axle, wide fenders and front axles been added as well. Amphibious front grill, really? <laughs> Diaphibious, wow, I suck. New mirrors and a wider steering angle as well. We've got an update to the machinery shed. Changelog 1.002, fixed lights, which were outside. And an update to the large mechanic shop. For all platforms, Changelog 1.1.0.2, adjusted the triggers. Moving into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First up, we have the Seeds Production by Zotal Zoct. Just killing the game right now. Caught quite a few of their mods today. This is a seed production producing seeds from cereals, fertilizers, and pesticides. Gonna cost you $75,000. Place down 10 bucks per day. Capacity is 100,000 liters of each fertilizer, pesticides, and seeds. Production rate is uh, 1,000 cereals. 2,500 fertilizer and 10 pesticides will equal 1,000 liters of seed and it will produce 5,000 liters of seed per hour in game. Information, this is only used with conjunction with Global Company, so do keep that in mind. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Gutler Avant 56. This is a front cultivator from Gutler. It is price of $6,723. Max work at speed 15 kilometers or about 11 miles per hour. Required power 125 working with, you better believe it, three meters let's check it out let's go into tools let's go into cultivators and here it is on the far left hand side again all things are right it's actually a nine mile per hour working speed not 11 and no customization big shocker there moving into updates for pc and mac players today we've got bell storage shed cell shelf storage bell storage barns and bell stacks all have the same Thing. They all have the same change logs, version 1.0.2, updated to object storage version 1.2, 
farm contractors can now access storage menu in multiplayer games, fix the wrapping compatibility issue with wrapped bales created by the Colossus DLC baler, and added support for pallets using the fill unit, fill volume, and design configurations options. With the addition of that in bale stacks, we also have input binding to add or remove the weather cover change to allow controller support. I was using this on a map and of course, I couldn't do it with a controller. Now, it's great to see that all of these have been updated. And your last mod update today, we have the small sawmill, change log version 1.003, field type of empty pallets, or the cell station has been adapted to the standard empty pallet. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, make sure you join the Goham fam, and turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a new mod video or daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.